Hello everyone. So today I have decided to share the four financial books that have had the most impact on my journey as an entrepreneur. I have met some good people in my life, but I couldn't have been where I am today within the shortest possible time if I hadn't read these books. These books, when read and their principles applied, will surely guarantee you the fastest path to the money and to financial freedom. The four must-read books, according to me, are Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill takes you through the wisdom and secrets of distinguished men of great wealth and achievement, like Thomas Edison, Mahatma Gandhi, Henry Ford, John D. Rockefeller, and the like. What I really enjoyed about this book is some of the key concepts it covers. The first being desire. This is the starting point of all achievement. You know, if you can conceive it, you can achieve it. And the achievement comes with faith, which drives the visualization and the belief in achieving your goals. What I did with this concept was, I wrote down what I wanted to achieve in my life over a 10 year period as a set of declarations. And every morning I would recite those declarations. He uses a useful technique on how to train the mind. It's called auto-suggestion. Basically, auto-suggestion is when you consistently see and feel your dream become a reality in your hand. He also introduces a concept called specialized knowledge. You know that the saying knowledge is power? Well, not quite. Knowledge is only power when it is used. The part where I see most people falter is in persistence. Persistence to me is the ability to keep going even through challenges in order to achieve your goals. Therefore, the ultimate power lies in the mind. The power of the master mind is the coordination of knowledge and effort driven by a burning desire and a never giving up attitude in creating riches and wealth. The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Klasser. In this book, Mr. Klasser uses Babylonian principles to teach the secret to acquiring money, keeping money, and making money earn more money. I love this book to bit, and I apply the seven principles in my everyday life and money management. The seven principles are start thy purse to fatten, control your expenditures, make your gold multiply, guard your treasures from loss, Make your dwelling a profitable investment, ensure a future income, and increase your ability to earn. This book has personally helped me so much. By using the seven principles, I was able to grow my monthly free cash flow to exceed my monthly expenditure. And that's how I quit my job. Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. Cash Flow Quadrant depicts the different ways money is generated and it's a way to categorize people based on where their money comes from. Robert uses letters to represent each quadrant. E, which represent employees, sit on the left-hand side of the quadrant together with S, representing small business or self-employed. B, for big business, usually the business that employs more than 500 people, and I, for investors, sit on the right-hand side of the quadrant. What I learned from this book is, regardless of what type of work we may do, we can generate income in all four quadrants and we can be rich or poor in all four quadrants. This book is a guide to financial freedom. It teaches the techniques of how to get out of the financial rut race by focusing on growing your assets to the point where your free cash flow from all your assets will be greater than your living expenses. This book was an eye-opener for me, and I have used Robert's teachings to operate in both the left and the right-hand side of the quadrant. I was permanently employed in 2009, and within my first year of working, I had acquired eight properties. This instantly placed me in both the left-hand side as an employee and the right-hand side as an investor. Fast forward five years later, I was and still able to operate Making Money Out of Property in South Africa by Jason Lee. 
There are many good property books that I have read, but I love the fact that this book is written from a South African context. What I really enjoyed about this book is some of the key concepts it covers, like how to choose your advisors, how to form a property investment club, how to check what you can or cannot do with your property, and how to select and surround yourself with a competent professional team. I read this book at a time when I was struggling to find the right people to co-found my property company with. This book gave me a clear picture on what type of personality I should seek. And I must say, after eight years, I have never regretted having Mandisa and Andile as my business partners. And quite frankly, we have become very good friends. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to share with your friends. Also, you are welcome to share with me books that you've read that have made the most impact in your personal life journey. The future, as they say, belongs to those who can change with the times and use personal disappointment as burden blocks for their future. So take actions, apply the good stuff that you read, be kind to yourself, expect disappointment, and always take care of the negatives as the positive will always take care of themselves. Also, remember, you are not a slave when you work for someone. You are only a slave when you work for money. Therefore, enjoy what you do and make your money work very hard for you. Until next time, bye-bye.